Hey, Quinn here. Salmon season is over and it's time to pull the impellers on my Marine Jet Power Ultra Jet 340 HTs. To do that, of course, we need to pull the reverse bucket steering subassembly and the reaction case, or what many of us refer to as the stator. Here we see those aforementioned components removed, but we still need a 55 millimeter wrench to pull this nut so to remove this shaft sleeve. Here you can see why we need to rebuild this impeller. While it doesn't have major rock damage, it is worn down to approximately 60 thousandths out of tolerance. Here's the impeller puller we made. It consists of stainless steel all thread that is metric, 12 millimeter by 175 thread. I purchased it online and will leave links for you in the video description. Then there's this heavy aluminum plate that Chris McDonald at Bristol Bay Supply cut a shallow receiver in for the impeller to fit in. Here you can see the tappings that all thread drives into, again, M12 by 1.75. The puller assembly just fits over the end of the shaft, you snug up the nuts, hit the end plate with a hammer, and the impeller should pop right out. So you want to make sure these this all thread bottoms out and the tapping's in here, uh, just so you don't bung up the threads, because you might have to wrench on these pretty tight. So now that these are all tightened pretty evenly, hit it with the, the strong persuader and it should pop right out of there. That's how it's supposed to slide out. I found a friend. Starry flounder got sucked up. I'm sorry you had to see that. Anyway, that's how you take the impeller out of one of these uh, 340 HT housing. I'll see you folks back on the water.